In this part, we are going to be setting up the project. We are going to be creating the project in start.spring.io, and that is Spring Initializer. We are going to be adding all the dependencies we need, and we are going to be setting up the project structures, that is the packages that we need for this project. So let's go ahead to get started. If you are on this page, just right click and say open in a new tab. I would like to just shift this tab out right here so that I'll be able to see the two pages at the same time. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if the first time you are joining, please go back to part one and you can continue from there. So the group name is the reverse of the domain name. So you can use the same, exactly the same as I use, com.kindsandigenius. And the artifact ID is the name of the project. I'm going to call it fleet app and options. Fleet app, that is fine. The package name is okay. So this is not a demo project. This is a full application, uh, the full application for for fleet management. Okay. All right. So the next thing we are going to do, we have a number of dependencies we are going to be adding. So if you want to add dependencies, just come down right here. The first one is Lombok. Lombok helps us to write, uh, helps us to generate the codes for us uh, when it comes to, 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 to Pojo or to the classes. So we have MySQL as well. We add MySQL and we also have our web, Spring Web, that is fine. So the Spring Web and we also have JPA, JPA and Timely for template management for displaying HTML pages. All right. So the next two, which is uh, Spring Starter Security and Timely Vest Trust Spring Security, we are going to be adding it later on when we are going to be configuring security for our application. So at this point, I've added all the dependencies I need for now. I'm going to simply click on just cross-checking everything is OK. I'm just going to click on Generate this button right here. It generates the project and downloads it to my download folder. So you can see it's downloaded to my download folder. I'm simply going to unzip it by saying extract files and just say OK. And actually, I can now uh, open this file as a project. So I don't want to move it to anywhere. It remains there and in the folder where it is downloaded. So if I go to Spring Boot, so I open Spring Boot, uh, Spring Tool Suits, simply go to File and say Open Project from File System, and then select the directory where you have the downloaded project. So if you go to your downloads, you have Fleet App. Now you need to click it two times so that you select the internal folder because there are two folders there. So I'm going to simply say Select Folder. And at this point, it takes a couple of seconds to... OK, so I'm going to say Finish, all right? So you can see it's updating the project configuration. So the next thing we are going to be doing at this point is create the package structure. So we are going to create the package structure at this point. So if I drop down here, go to SRC, so it's still uh, downloading all the, all the JAR files to the class parts. So let's give it a few seconds. All right, so this is what we have. So we have SRC uh, main java.com, Python, we can use the config apps. Okay, so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the, the packages are controllers. Take note, we have controllers, we have repositories, models, and stevy. So there are four packages you need to create. So I'm going to just create them now. So the packages are created right now, and we are now ready to move to the next part, which is to configure MySQL database. 